Okay, so Brachala has the male quail. We'll put him in first. Say hi, Brachala. Hi. Okay, bring, bring it in. And we're gonna put him in, wait. Put him in the sand. Yeah. In the mm -hmm. sand. Okay. Now we're gonna wait and see if he comes out. He's gonna come out of that hole. Now I'm gonna put the female in here and then he'll come out to her. So, here. Here, put her in. Okay, she's in. We have to get a few more, but she's in. And then he's gonna come out over there. He'll hear her. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Peeked out. Okay, it's peeking out. I don't think his mom needs to come out. Good. Oh, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Every time he takes his head out a little bit more. Do that. Never saw his ears. There he goes. Here Brahma comes with another one. <laughs> hey. Hey. Thank you. Just trying to see the male figure out our hole with our door. So make sure you got right to it. You can do it. You can do it. You have to squish a little bit, but you can do it. You have one? Good for you. Oh, can they see? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good for you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay, I'm out here this morning with my daughter Ricky. She's going to be helping us. One second, where is she? Wait a second. Hey, Rex. Hi. Um, what are you doing now? I'm taking out the uh, quail eggs. eggs. Yeah. Okay, so this is the quail, and let's go find their eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see where they are. Let's see where they are. Ooh, wow. Teeny and beautiful. Okay, any more? Can you show my friend? Okay, treasure hunt. Eggs treasure hunt. <laughs> Officially, I want them to lay in their in their houses, but they haven't gotten so used to it yet because um, I think it's too dark in there. So we're gonna add another window, and we'll see what happens. They, otherwise, they seem to be really liking the setup. Okay, let's give them a treat, a pair. 
<laughs> that was too funny. I just missed it on camera, but as you know, this coop is meant to be moved. And every day I move it onto new grass. So I was moving it onto new grass. You see they're all on this side by the fresh new grass. Can you see them? This is the fresh grass side. Anyway, and I forgot that the door was open. One of them jumped out and just did a fly and he flew straight up and into our porch right there. So let's go upstairs and find him. Okay, these are their eggs. I'm gonna take them up meanwhile. Look how pretty. You can fit six eggs in the palm of my hand. I'm gonna put that in the kitchen. Hey. Good morning. What are you doing? Oh, a puzzle! Wow! Perfect. You won't believe what happened, Rachel. Yeah. I put the eggs down. Uh, <laughs> I left the door open yeah. to, the, to the quail, the slav, and one of them flew right here onto the porch. What? Yeah. Wanna see? There he is. Wait a second, wait a second. Let's get him clear on camera. There he is. How come it's not clear? You don't see him? You see him? Come on. There he is on the porch. All right. How come you don't? Oh, here. See him? Just sitting there. Let's hope he doesn't. We're going to move away because I don't want to scare him. I don't want to scare him too much. There he goes. Woo! Whoa! He flew right over that fence. Okay. This is going to be harder than I thought. Look at that. <laughs> All right. This is already getting <laughs> uncomfortable. He's going to the neighbors now. All right. I'm just trying to see around. This is around the fence. Where'd he go? Is he on the trampoline? No. Oh God. I don't know where he went. That's the thing with quail. They tell you they're very flighty and they'll just pick up and run. But now we have to go search. Oh God. All right. Anyway, this is the view from the porch. That's the quail hutch. That's a chicken. Chicks, please. All right, let's go find them. Find the quail. Okay, going to look for the quail. We're gonna go all the way down and around. That's the only way we can do it. And they're very good at hiding, so. And blending in, so I have no idea where to find him. But let's try. Going all the way around the building. They can also really hurt themselves. Ooh, here's a cat. Hey, cat, did you find the quail before I did? Okay, that is where he flew over. Now let's see where he landed. He can, he can hurt himself for sure. He doesn't think, he just. Flies. See him here? Right, he could have landed on there. Rachel, can you see in there? Up there? Is he there? He's not there? What? Oh, he's down here maybe? Okay. How are we going to find him? Under the trampoline? Alright, here he's not. This area he's not. He's not up there. He's not on this sledge. And he wasn't in the trampoline. So, where's next best in all this grass? He can also hurt himself. How far can he fly? I mean, I know they're flighty, but 
This is like... I don't think I'm going to be able to find him like this. Oh boy. Oh, look how beautiful all this rosemary is in bloom. Look, all the bees having a heyday. You know, trying to show the bees where would you go? No, I'm just <laughs> got sidetracked by all these beautiful bees on the on this whole row of rosemary. All right. Well, keep an eye out and keep you updated. We fell on this side of the gate. Then we're lucky. If he flew okay. over from there, all the way up there. If he flew down here, we're lucky. Cause then he'll hear the females, he'll call to them, they'll hopefully answer and he'll find his way back. As long as he's not hurt. <laughs> 